Hi everybody, Patricia here. It's been a while since I did a book video, but I'm going to be doing my Friday reads today. It's uh, October 20th, and I am reading an author who I thought I would never, ever pick a book up by. And that person is Stephen King, and The Green Mile is what I'm reading. Now, I, most of his books, I find, are really, really graphic, like Misery or Christine or It or something that's so graphic, it's, I'm like, ah, no. Uh, a lot of people enjoy his books. Like, don't get me wrong, he's, when, like, when I started this, he's an awesome author. Like, you know, I'm, but, like, horror that are, it's, it's that graphic is not my thing. But um, when I bought, bought this, I actually bought two of his books. I bought The Green Mile, and I bought the first book from the Dark Tower series, and that's The Gunslinger. Just so you know, I have. So um, when I went to my book store, this was like always drawn to me because I did see the movie, and I enjoyed the movie. And um, I asked him, I said, with these books, how graphic are they? And he says, they're not graphic like his horror books are, but like there is some detail in them, he says, but it's nothing compared to his uh, more in-depth um, books are, like, like his real horror. No, I always tell people, I said, I can sit down and watch a Stephen King movie based on the books, but I cannot sit down and re read the books themselves. Because I know for, like, any book, really, that they cannot put as much detail as they probably want from the book into a movie. But, um, you know what, like, it's the, the, the way it is. Like, you know, it's... I have friends my who love going into a Stephen King book like uh, Christine and It and Misery and whatever else other horror, horror books he puts out. My father was a, uh, a Stephen King fan. But for me, I could not get into knowing that his he has graphic... I go into detail with that. Like I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I'm sorry, sorry, Stephen King. That's, but um, but I decided like I was drawn to this because where I did see the movie, I know it wasn't the movie wasn't so bad. And when I started reading this, I'm like, hey, like you know, this is I'm like I know I didn't. I'm not firm into it. But I'm really enjoying it. Like, you know, I, it's more than I thought, actually thought I would. And I'm hoping, like, I heard good things about this series, too. And I was also drawn to it for that reason. Like, you know, hopefully that it wasn't, uh, wasn't, uh, going into really big detail. But, uh, so I think once I finish with this one, I might get into the, the gunslinger. Now, I don't know if you can see there's like it's smaller print you know that's fine and flappy flappy trade a uh, mass paperback but yeah, if you've seen the movie it had like, Tom Hanks and um there I can't remember the big guy's name he uh, but anyway it's really good I'm really enjoying it so far and think I will um oh I don't know but anyway this is my Friday reads I'll show you the front this is the the cover I got and there's Stephen King it's, and uh, his son and his wife both write too Tabitha I think is his wife's name Owen I think is his son's name I think they just put out a he and his son just put out a book so it's a family 
family business and I wish nothing but the best for all three of them and there you go. Anyway, this is my feet, my reeds. This is my coffee. I don't know if I'm allowed to show the uh, the um, name of the, the uh, coffee shop, but hey, you probably already know what it is. Go figure. Anyway, I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon, and happy reading. Bye-bye.